The following is a Just Green production. Hello, everyone. It's the week of May 14th, 2018. My name is Taylor Cooper, and this might be news to you. What up, everybody? Season 3, episode 18, Might Be News. Get at us on Twitter, at Might Be News 24-7. That's Might Be News 247. With me, as always, co-host Danny. Say what up. What's up, guys? Our special guest host, our go-to backup host, <laughs> my brother, John Wilcox. What up, John? What's going on, brother? He's back. A couple weeks ago, he was here. Very on-point analysis of the North Korean War. I will say, I went back and listened I, to that, and you all, that. you you carried that very well. I thought people deserved to be schooled on that. It was a big enough deal that just in case you didn't know about it, I, I wanted to make sure it might you be news to them. It might be news to them, right? And a lot of it was news to me. I'm going to be honest. Awesome. I went back and listened to it, and I felt smarter after it. <laughs> That's the goal, right? I did. John has become a fan favorite. Fan favorite. People, people enjoy when John's on the show. Don't tell Kev, but I'm probably going to fire him. <laughs> and I'm probably going to bring you on. And that's that. Sorry, Goodbye, Kev. Ed. Sorry, Kev. Bye. I'm just kidding. I love Kev. He's probably mad right now because I, I just said that. He's probably really mad. <laughs> You're a hater. You're a hater. Ugh. You're whack. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh. All right. laughs> Poor Kev. Uh, season 3, episode 18. Um, get at us on iTunes, SoundCloud. We're winding the season down. We made we made a couple big announcements last week. Uh, real real quick before we get into good news, we made a couple big announcements. If you're just tuning in, June 11th is our finale. That'll be our 50th episode. That's amazing. Total 50 total over three seasons. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, you know, it's been a wild ride. It's picking up steam. And I feel like the only thing that it's missing is more, right? Yeah, yeah. People want more. Danny, they're not, you think? They're not satisfied with what we're giving. They want more. Right. One day a week, Monday. There's a lot of people that look forward to hearing our show. But it's not enough. There's not. four other days in the week I'm trying to get through. Yeah. You need more more to listen to. So more. I mean, I help record the show, so I know what we talk about, but I still look forward to it on Mondays. Yeah. And then get upset when it's over. Yeah. <laughs> so the best way we could figure out to fix that problem is to give you more. So after June eleventh, we're gonna change the name of our SoundCloud and iTunes to the Might Be News Network. And we're gonna start producing more shows. Not more might be news shows. Last week, we announced that we're going to do a sports show with Kevin Reevy. Might be sports. Tonight, we're going to make another announcement. Make you wait for it, though. Right? A right. little, little tease. Fuck them. <laughs> so, um, and then next week, we're going to make another one. Another big announcement. And then probably one the week after that. After that, we'll probably make an announcement of officially what we're going to do to torture you and Kevin in the finale. Oh, God. <laughs> It'll be official in a couple weeks. I swear, if it involves ranch dressing, I'm going to fire myself. <laughs> <laughs> it might. I'll fire myself. It might not. You know? I don't know. I'm keeping my options open. Unless you want vomit over this beautiful table, <laughs> I'm not doing anything with ranch. <laughs> what am I missing? Do you hate ranch? With Did a I passion. Miss this? Wow. With yeah, a passion. that was like the first episode Danny was ever on. I think that was season two, episode one. Yep. I've heard you guys talk about ranch a bunch oh, of yeah. times, but like, I didn't realize that you had such a problem. The well, look John, of it, the smell of it, the name, <laughs> everything. <laughs> the name. If if there's a bowl of ranch sitting in front of you, I would be sitting here with my, you know, throw up glands, like <laughs> producing saliva like I want to throw up. So here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there listening that probably feel the same way you feel, John. That's why we pay SoundCloud money <laughs> to allow SoundCloud to have all of our episodes. Yeah. Go back and listen to People, you can go on our SoundCloud or iTunes and listen to every episode from season two, episode one, all the way to now. Season one is the Phantom season. You're not allowed <laughs> to listen to it. It's in a different time space continuum. So it's off limits. But there's more coming your way. Big stuff. Big, 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 big. 
Here we go with some good news. Hey, did you hear the news? This better be good. You want the good news or the bad news? Give me the good stuff. All right, Danny, season three, episode 18, what do you got? All right, this is actually a local story. Uh, this is coming right out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's something very powerful about a really good teacher who makes a really big impact. Uh, last Tuesday, a teacher from the Marsh Creek 6th grade center in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, was not only celebrated for the work he does in the classroom, but he was nominated by one of his own students um, from an essay she wrote. So <clears throat> last week was Teacher Appreciation Week. And this student from the Marsh Creek 6th grade center wrote an essay to the Philadelphia Phillies about her teacher from the 6th grade center, uh, Mr. John Wilson. Um, In this essay, she went on to tell about how John has changed her life. Um, She dealt with a lot of bullying while she was in school, and um, the way that Mr. Wilson helped her deal with it really impacted her life. Turns out she's not the only one. There have been a whole bunch of other students have been coming out of the woodworks talking about um, just his the, his way of teaching, his way of connecting with the students. It has impacted so many people on so many different levels. So the essay that she wrote reached a Phillies organization. The, the Phillies looked into it, and they decided they were going to hold a surprise pep rally for Mr. Wilson at his school. Oh, wow. Uh, during that pep rally, they honored him with his own custom Phillies t-shirt. And he's actually down at the Phillies game right now for this big event that they just did. Go ahead and say it. So In, a, in this time space. In, in a time space <laughs> continuum. <laughs> time space continuum. Right. Um, John Wilson is a former Marine. Uh, he also happens to be my next door neighbor. Uh, so I know this guy on a very personal level, and he's just one of the most down to earth guys that you know I've had the chance of knowing. That's very cool. So awesome. what they're doing for him, it, it, it's really cool because you know they're recognizing him for not only being a great teacher but being a great mentor to these kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just in- incredible, you know, how many lives he's changed just by trying to connect. Yeah. And he, he went on to saying, you know, he not always had the easiest childhood growing up. So if he can do a little something extra in his classroom to have them take something out of it instead of just math, that means he has conquered his goal. In life. Yeah, sure. That's great. So, uh, my other good news story, uh, Kev the Haters not here tonight. <laughs> also, the Philadelphia Eagles are still the Super Bowl still champions. Still the champions. That's it. Um. I saw one more cool thing. <coughs> the uh, the actor and comedian Ken Jong, he was in uh, The Hangover, a few other things. Yep. Um, somebody somebody was suffering from a seizure at one of his comedy shows. So he does stand up, I guess. He's on stage giving yep. a performance. Somebody had a seizure. And I heard, I read the story. They thought, or he thought, they were heckling him. Yeah. At first. Yeah. And he eventually realized that they were serious, and he used to be a doctor. That's right. Like, straight-up doctor. And um, he jumped out there and helped save this woman's life. Wow. That's so cool. It's incredible. I have a problem with this story. Do you? Yeah. Why? Because I did the same exact thing two weeks ago, and I'm not in the fucking news for it. <laughs> really? I was at Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. And we're sitting down, and like, there's no server coming over. So after about 10 minutes, the waitress comes over and she's like, you know, sorry, you know, we're dealing with a little incident. Uh, Just want to let you know if you order a beer, we might not be able to get it. All right. What's going on? She goes, well, the bartender just collapsed. And I was like, well, you know, I am a firefighter and EMT. (laughs) So I ran back there, full blown seizure right behind the bar. Wow. Oh, yeah. Dan the weatherman. Dan the weatherman came to the rescue. Damn. Everything good? Screw Very you, sure. Dr. Ken. Nice Very work. Sure. <laughs> Dude, I'll never forget at my last job, there was this um, this lady that was working there, and I think it was around lunchtime. I knew she was, like, eating her lunch, and she goes, she runs into the bathroom, and it sounds like she's just violently throwing up, and I'm, like, listening to it through the wall, like, 
holy crap, this girl just is completely, you know. Dying. Yeah, dying. Yeah. Well, like, it had to have been a minute and a half, two minutes go by, and she comes out of the bathroom, like, bright red, like, trying to say, like, John, John, and she's choking. She's choking, yeah. Dude, I jumped over my desk, and I just spin her around, and I grab her, and I, I don't have any training. I don't know how to do the Heimlich, yeah. but I'm like, I'm going to give it my best shot. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I was pulling on her, trying to do the Heimlich, and nothing was happening, and I had the thought, like... Somebody's just going to have to call 911 right now because yeah. this isn't working. Yeah. I pulled on her so hard that I pulled like some kind of muscle in my chest. Get out. Dude, I was in pain for like three days afterward. It, she did finally cough it up because I, I lifted her off the ground, like pulling on her so hard. Thank goodness she's okay. But like, I'll, I'll never forget that kind of thing. That's awesome. Dude, it's, I don't know. It was just weird. That's really wild. scary, but it was in. cool. Yeah. I, I don't know. It was, it was pretty neat. I, I'm sitting with two people that physically saved people's lives. You, well, you have any stories? It's an like overwhelming that? feeling. I mean, I did used to do it for a living, so I yeah. do have a, a, an edge over some people. Well, I mean, I I've never saved somebody's life like physically like that. Yeah, but somebody did send me a SoundCloud message years ago. Um, you might remember the song uh, Haley. Uh, oh Haley, yeah, yeah, stay yeah, with yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um. Somebody sent me a message when I put that song out. Like it was months and months later. Yeah. And they said that they, you know, suffered from depression and, you know, suicidal thoughts and stuff. And they really liked the song. And, uh, you know, Dude, that song is intense. Felt like it was like really relatable to them. And, yeah. you know, I, you know, talked to them at that point, but I never reached back out and yeah. whatever. But, but still, that's hopefully that's awesome. they're doing okay. I never met them before. They were just somebody random that kind yeah. of stumbled across. The song and it was just so, it was a song about suicide and it was a you know really powerful song and yeah, it was the power of music man that's yeah, incredible man. but that was a really cool feeling for me because i was like well that's really cool you know i it was just a story that i told <sighs> through a song and uh is somebody that, somebody was really you know found it really relatable so yeah is that, helped them so. is that out there on soundcloud like under just green yeah is it still out there should be it, anybody listening should go look that up man that song has so much emotion, such great tori- storytelling. Thank you. That thing's awesome. Thank you. I'm going to go back and listen to it on the way home. <laughs> that's the only thing I have even close to do. That's cool, like though, what man. You guys did. But it's, you, that, that's what you do. Right. So, you know, for you to make music that has touched somebody on that kind of personal level, that's a huge accomplishment on your part. It was cool. Very cool. It was definitely one of the finest moments of my <laughs> uh, creative career. Yeah. That's sure. awesome. Very cool. It's total stranger. Yeah. Just, you know, hit me up. And that was really cool. Um, So we're not going to do a social media rundown this week. Well, we Man, kind of I are. I wanted to hear the intro. <laughs> Can we still play the intro? It's, it's kind of a social media rundown because we post. All right. We're, we've been talking about some heavy stuff recently, right. you know, and I'm going to talk about some heavy stuff on my point this week. So I was going to just lighten it up this week. A All right. Bit. Yeah. So we're just going to do. A movie madness rundown. Movie madness. <gasps> movie madness. John, now, can you do an intro for us? I don't know. Movie madness. That was pretty awesome. Cut it. <laughs> you reminded me of that Muse song. Mad, 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 mad. Um, so movie madness rundown. I went out and I looked to try to find the names of all of the borderline to full-blown blockbusters from here to December. All right. Some dope movies coming yes. out. And we post a lot about that on social media, so it ties in. Yeah. Fuck it. All right? Let's do it. So, the rest of the month of May, we have Deadpool 2. Nice. And I'm so hyped about Deadpool. 2. I'm so excited <laughs> so for Deadpool hype. too. It looks so good. Like I follow, um, I follow Hugh Jackman, yeah, and uh, and Ryan Reynolds on Instagram and stuff. Mm-hmm. And Hugh Jackman's been posting videos with Deadpool in it, like because you know how Deadpool's like obsessed with Wolverine in yeah. the first one. <laughs> so like he's been like showing up as Deadpool or whatever. Like he he. He came in as Deadpool to do like a voicemail for somebody for Hugh Jackman for like their birthday or something. And they ended up making it. It was funny. Okay. It was, they've been doing some funny shit. But uh, I'm really hyped for it. 
<clears throat> I don't watch a lot of the. Is that considered Marvel Avengers? It is, but it doesn't. I don't think it comes into the Avengers. Okay, at all. because I don't. I don't watch them because he's rated R. I don't think they'll yeah. ever cross over. Really, okay. maybe one of the characters in his movies might end up somewhere else, but they're going to be making some changes to the Marvel universe. I I believe they could anyway because they're all owned by Disney now. Right? Like, they could they could start incorporating the X Men into the Avengers. Disney, anytime Disney's doing some big things. Yeah. Big things. Uh, so after Deadpool two, we have the new Han Solo movie, Solo Star Wars movie. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I know you're not a Star yeah. Wars guy, Danny. No, no. This looks really good. Chick from Game of Thrones. Yep. She's in it. Khaleesi. Um, who else is in it? Uh, uh, Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Yeah, we were just talking about. Yeah, it. Charles Gambino. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And um, I'm I'm really excited for it. I really liked Rogue One, which was kind of a separate thing. Yeah, yeah, you know? it was awesome. Um, I really enjoyed that. It was really well done. And this one looks even crazier. It's directed by Ron Howard. I think it's going to oh, be really? really good. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Sick. It looks awesome. What's that thing that he always talks about that he did the the, the yeah, castle run? Yeah, he like, did like the one run, like yeah, the fastest out anybody, and he's supposed and, like, to do that in this. Four parsecs yeah, or whatever. Yeah, whatever like They're yeah. always referencing that. He's like the shit yeah. for that. Yeah, he's like known for that. I was excited, like, okay, now I'll finally understand See, Danny, what, what he's talking about. I'm willing about. to bet that even as a non-Star Wars guy, you would probably enjoy this one because it doesn't have anything to do with, like, the Force. Well, I mean, it, it probably it, does it somewhere, yeah. but, like, it's more or less just, like, Han Solo being a badass, meeting Chewbacca. I don't know if they meet for the first time, but it's I bet uh, you they do. obviously early in their relationship. Um, now, do you have to watch all the other ones nah, in order to probably, get this one? No, because this okay. is, like, way before... It's like the origins of Han Solo. So, like, Star Wars started with Han Solo as an adult. You okay. know what I mean? So, this is like has nothing to do with Luke Skywalker, nothing to do with Darth Vader, most likely. It's how he got to the point of being like the wanted space pirate. Pretty yeah, because that's pretty much what he was smuggler yeah, and everything, smuggler, right? Yeah. So, he was the shit. Anyway, so I'm really hyped about that. Moving on to June. June is a pretty busy month. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's like, Quote, like essentially the beginning of summer, yep. kind of. And that's when a lot of these big movies do come out. We got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Oh, I'm hyped for that. I it looks good. Movie. I love Although, that Although, you know what? I saw Jurassic when we World. went to go see Avengers, right? I saw like a new trailer for it. It made me less hype. Really? It did. Uh, like, uh, dude, that redhead. Um, Bar- yeah, she's smoking. smoking up. Bryce Dallas. Yeah. Howard. Uh, yeah. Something. Yeah. Something like that. I love her. Yeah. And Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's the man. almost on the same level as her. Yeah. With me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But um, I don't know. Like they just they kind of look like they're going to back into like the company trying to weaponize these things, and like I don't know. Yeah. It just took away from like what the original trailer made it look like, which was like dope volcano shit and like fucking crazy <laughs> shit on this yeah. island with right. dinosaurs. So I don't know. Uh, so we got Incredibles two. I'm excited for that. What? Yeah. Did you see the trailer for that? No. It's yeah, a new one. Wait Looks a second. Good. I feel like I'm not connecting. Like like the kids. Yeah, like yeah, red yeah. The suits. superhero yeah. Disney Pixar. Dude, I love the Incredibles. Me too. They're coming out with the second one. Wow. Yeah, next month. I'm in. Wow. Yeah. I love that. Same old. cast, everything. So the trailer made it look like um they kind of like outlawed superheroes or whatever. But yeah, they only they- let some of them do it. And out of <gasps> their family, only the mom is allowed to be a superhero. Oh. So the dad kind of like stays home and like takes care of the kids. <laughs> right. And like, if you remember the baby has like crazy powers yeah, that yeah, they don't yeah, even yeah. know about. So it looks like they kind of like are trying to figure out what's up with the baby. Nice. And also remain a tightly knit family. Yeah. yeah. Elastic girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it looks good. That's awesome. Um, I'm probably not interested in it, but oceans eight. Yeah. I love the oceans movies. Actually. 11's dope. 12 is whack, 13's dope. I agree. That's exactly how I yeah, feel about yeah, yeah. that. Danny, are you a fan of the Ocean movie? But this is movie? all female, right? Yeah. Sandra Bullock. It's got a good cast. Yeah. It could be good. Like I like the way those movies are shot, the music. It's got such a cool feel to it, but right. like I really feel that dynamic between like um Matt Damon, Brad Pitt, George Clooney yeah. was just like such an epic part of the movie that I'm hoping 
that they can somehow pull that off with the ladies. This has a good cast. I'm just like kind of underwhelmed by the trailer, I guess. Honestly, that's really it for me. Yeah. Like I I'll probably watch the movie. I'll probably watch it because yeah. I saw all the other ones. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And yeah, I'd like too. to see if there's like any kind of tie in to the other ones, like how deep that goes or whatever. Like I'm interested in it. How is it? Oceans is is Sandra Bullock or somebody supposed to be a relative like of a Danny? sister or something? Yeah. That's what yeah. I want to know. Okay. So uh, let's see. Hotel Artemis. Have you guys seen anything about this? No. no. Idea. This movie looks gangster as shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's kind of like a it. it the trailer gave me a John Wick type vibe. Okay. It's like that world, you know? Okay. Um, a lot of criminal like underworld type shit. So this this is like a, essentially a hotel run by a gangster looking Jodie Foster <laughs> who like she basically treats criminals like it's a safe haven for criminals to go there like when they're all shot up and like, oh my God, I'm dying. Like they got to go here. Yeah. And they can handle this shit. And it's like kind of like the hotel in John Wick where they're, yeah, yeah, I was they're just not allowed to, to have that. any violence in there yep. or whatever. And like a super gangster looking Jeff Goldblum is trying to get somebody in there. What is it? Dave Batista's in it. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of people in it. I'm kind of like forgetting off the top of my head, but it looks like really good action pack, kind of like thriller type shit. Yeah, the guy from uh, This Is Us. What's his name? Uh, Sterling K. Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in it. There's a couple. He's of an things. incredible. Yeah, actor. he's a good actor. Charlie Day. The movie. Yeah, Charlie Day is in it. He looks pretty hard in it, actually, which is funny. How can nice. Charlie Day be hard? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, go watch the uh, trailer for Hotel Artemis. After right. seeing him and like it's always sunny in Philly and horrible yeah. bosses, yeah. I can't oh, so take good. him seriously. No, yeah. <laughs> but he looked pretty. It looked pretty right. awesome in this movie. Uh, let's see, Sicario Two, Day of the Salado. I haven't Sol- seen the first Sol- one, but I heard it's so dope. Yo. <laughs> you never said oh my god yo homework for this about. week oh, go watch sicario, sicario. Okay. i'm still trying to watch lion i know bro this this might be more up your alley yeah, but didn't you watch his movie i did yeah i failed i'm yeah. disappointed i'm it not was, mad it was, slack, it, was, it, was a, it was a weird work week and you guys know i've been working these crazy but fucking hours <laughs> i'm not mad <laughs> I'm, I'm just disappointed. disappointed. That's all. Yeah, I I'm know. disappointed. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I, I used to hate when my yeah, parents said too, that. Because I'd, I'd rather worse. you be mad. Yeah. Don't be disappointed. Yeah. Just be mad at me, please. So much worse. Until you hear it enough times, and it's like, you know what? Fuck your feelings. <laughs> you like turn 13 and like get hair on your balls, and you're just like, go fuck yourself. I don't care that you're <laughs> upset. Yeah. So, uh, Sicario, dude. Uh, I'm looking at the cast right now. Emily Blunt. Benicio del Toro, Emily Josh Blunt's Brolin. not in this one, in the first she, one, right? She's in the first. That's one. what I'm saying. I'm looking yeah. at the cast of the first one. So, like Benicio del Toro, basically plays like this straight up cartel assassin, right? Okay, but he like spoiler alert gets betrayed by this fucking cartel, and I'm not going to tell you what happens, but they he he's now working with the CIA. Okay. And Josh Brolin is like the CIA guy. And their job is literally to go down to Mexico and just cause chaos and get them to fight each other. Okay. Right? So, like, Josh Brolin is straight up ruthless. Benicio Del Toro is straight up ruthless. That dude is. In that movie. And this movie looks even crazier. Crazier. Like, wow. All and right. It's one of those movies where it's like super realistic type, like, the camera angles are like follow behind everybody in the shootouts. Like it's really, yeah. it's pretty wild. All right. Uh, then Homework. also the last one I saw for June is the movie Tag, a new comedy. Have you seen anything about this? No. It's based on a true story. This group of friends that grew up together <clears throat> apparently get together every every one one month a year mm-hmm. and play tag for a month. What? They, it's, it's like a tradition that they started when they were when they were younger. You say they play tag for a month. Tag one month every year. Five highly competitive friends hit the ground running for a no holds barred game of tag, risking their necks, their jobs, and their relationships to take one another down. Yeah, That's, yeah. and the cast is great. It's got like that sounds uh, hilarious. It's got the the guy from yeah yeah yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Um, Jeremy Renner. Yeah. Isla Fisher, who I love. She's so smoke. I think I have a thing for redheads. <laughs> it appears this episode. Um, Ed Helms, John Hamm, Jake Johnson. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> like they, they, like the nice. one guy, uh, 
he's like the best at it. Like he doesn't get tagged. So they're all like just trying to fuck around. Like it shows him at a funeral and shit. And he's like, I'm really sorry. And like he just goes up behind him and just tags him. And he's like, you're it. And he just like walks away. <laughs> oh like dude, it's so <laughs> fucked up. Like it looks so good though. So I'll have to check this out. It looks like a really good like rated R comedy. Like I love nice. that shit. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's go to July. All right. We talked about the Equalizer 2 oh, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's in July. Yeah, yeah. So that's coming up. I knew you guys would be excited about that. I'm just so hyped for that because the first one was awesome. It was so good. It was unexpected, and it was just killer. I thought it was going to be kind of like a B, B type yeah. movie. Like It just looked kind of like, yeah, cool. It looks fine, you know, whatever. Just, and then I watched it. I'm like, holy shit. Holy I shit. fell into that movie by accident. Yeah. I forget how I came across it, but um, I was watching it. I can't say where I was watching it. I was watching, uh, I was watching it at work. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was just, it, it was one of those days where, you know, shit was broke down. So we threw a movie in. Yeah. And as soon as I saw Denzel in his first fight scene, I was like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It was really good. And this one looks really good. Too. Yeah. So we have uh, also in July, Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's the next Marvel movie. I didn't see the first one. Was it good? It was all right. I like Paul Rudd. But I like Paul Rudd. He's he's a good Ant Man. Mm-hmm. I don't really fuck with Ant Man. That's not like okay. my comic book thing. I he's cool. Yeah, nobody right. really wants to grow up to be Ant Man. Is he in the Avengers? He want to be like he the, is in the Avengers. Or really? Superman, not right. Ant Man. Yeah, Ant Man's kind of weak. I'm just yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't have any like superpowers. It's just, all about his suit. Like if his suit breaks, he's just Paul Rudd. That's okay. all he is. <laughs> I mean, he just goes around stealing crumbs. Pretty much, that's what he could do yeah. if he just stayed ant all the time. Fuck your ant. It's kind of wild though. Like the, it's cool. Like because he, <clears throat> the smaller he is, the stronger he is. And then like when he becomes big and like hits something as he's doing it, like it fucks him up really bad. Okay, it's pretty cool. I mean, his special effects were fine. That sounds kind of whack, actually. It's kind of whack. I'm not, gonna <laughs> lie. I'm not like I'm not gonna be beating down the door to see Ant Man and the Wasp, right. but I'm I'll see it because right. I've seen all the other ones. Uh, Mission, the new Mission Impossible. Fallout. I haven't seen the trailer, but the poster looks cool. <laughs> the poster is cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> what is this? Like yeah. the sixth one? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Or whatever. Tom Cruise. They've all been decent, Yo, except for the second one. I didn't I, like. I, watched, I stopped at the first. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The last one I saw, I think he was in like Dubai, and that was kind of cool. I don't know. He's, he's, he's a man of international mystery. I don't mm. know what movie that is. Yo, real quick. Tom Cruise. Tom is that the one where he's like climbing the skyscraper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen Night and Day? Yes. With Tom- I love that movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. That's like a sleeper that I feel like it's one of those ones nobody knows about. It's the one with Cameron Diaz, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that movie. That's good. You know what I'm talking about? No. All right. You got to look that up. All right. Next movie in July, The First Purge. Purge fans here? I love The Purge. Yeah, you seen oh, the movies? Yeah. I've seen it's all like the, I saw the first It's like one. the... the, 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 the prequel to it okay how it started the first one yeah 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 and the the movie (laughs) the poster of it (laughs) is a fucking donald trump hat oh no but it just says the first purge on. okay no 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 that's what it's it's just one of the red hat but it's like you know made to look like that yeah yep and it uh so i thought that was kind of funny are you a fan of the purge um uh, you know what i only saw the second one so you saw the purge anarchy yes okay that's the one where they're like cruising through the city and what's his name the driver guy yep yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was the second good. one. I saw some of that. It was okay. But the first one I liked because I was just like blown away by the concept. And it yeah. was like and the nuts. first one yeah. was only like one family, right? Like it was like basically yeah. focused on one house. Yeah. The dude who um, who was like the main focus of the movie invent like was making a lot of money off of protecting houses yeah, during he, the purge. Yeah, he made the security systems for the houses. Oh. So, like, purge. you know, oh. on the outside of houses would just, like, all of a sudden be armored up to get ready for the purge, and he was, like, the guy who invented and was in charge of the company for all that. So it was kind of, like, a bit deeper, but... Okay. But it was dope. It was yeah, I, I liked them. I thought they were awesome. This one looks good, too. I mean, I'd be interested to see, like, how it starts. It, it just be, like, such a, a bizarre concept. Yeah. Yeah. That that it, this would actually happen. All right. If there was a purge, who's the first person you're going after besides Kevin? Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, leave the room for a few minutes because this could be used as evidence one day. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't really want to. Maybe say. that's not a good yeah. idea. Uh, let's just I leave take it that at back. That. Yeah. <laughs> just we would enjoy. I'll tell you, it. On, I'll tell you on break, yeah. sir. We have you taped saying yeah. this. <laughs> I'll tell you on break. 
Uh, so the next one, or the last one we have for July, the next blockbuster from The Rock, mm. Skyscraper. Have you seen the trailer for this? It's called Skyscraper? Yeah. No. Is it he- looks like it's meant to be seen in like 3D. It looks like it's kind of, I feel like it's like an ode to 90s action movies. It almost looks like identical to like a diehard scenario. He's literally in a skyscraper like Bruce Willis was. And he's hanging out of windows and he's fighting a group of people there trying to kill somebody that's this probably movie related to him. sounds like how we thought Equalizer was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> like it's oh, just it's gonna probably going to be good because I, really, random... I really like The Rock. I do too, you know, but I it just sounds like a He comes put... out with a new movie like every month. Yeah. He's paid. But yeah, so oh, yeah. He's paid. one of the, he is the high. I think yeah, he was he the, highest the highest last year, year. right? Yeah. In, in all seriousness, he is one of my favorite people of all time. Yeah, he's good. I, I followed him growing up wrestling. Right. Um, yeah. I yeah. read all of his autobiographies. He was just like one of my idols growing up. He's great in one. He, fo- he played football. He was going to play professional football, but then he had a, a very bad injury. Yeah. So then he followed his dad's footsteps, went into wrestling. You watch his show Ballers on HBO? I do not. It's, I do. You should. It's, it's really good. good. It's really good. Right, I'll check it it's out. It's done by the people that did Entourage. So it's yeah. got like a cool, that like, kind of wide. funny thing about it, yeah. but it's like pretty serious. He's like okay. a sports agent. Like, he's like taking over talent and like eventually trying to move a football team to Las Vegas and stuff. It's pretty, oh, really? pretty wild. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. I don't like TV shows, but I like that show. Yeah, right. it's good. I'll check it out. It's, it's good. good. It's on HBO. Yeah, and yeah. they have cameos right. from real people, right? Like, yeah, it's they like do. Odell Beckham mm-hmm. and Deshaun Jackson and shit like that in there. Yeah, That's I think Steph cool. Curry's been on there and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, I haven't watched the most recent season, but Maybe. what I saw it was good. Moving on to August in our mega movie rundown. <laughs> uh, Alpha. Uh, I saw this trailer. It looks pretty cool. It it's basically looks like it's in a like prehistoric time period ice age time period this guy's like a caveman and he's like a kid in this group of guys or you know people whatever cave people and he gets separated from his family or his group or whatever and he ends up becoming friends with like a wolf and like becoming like you know it's badass it's like a coming of age oh, story yeah. looks good I don't know. The, the poster kind of looks like Avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a CGI. I know. The poster does make it look kind of like uh, a CGI thing, but it's not. Were you guys into Avatar? I liked yeah. Avatar. Did you? Yeah, I yeah. liked it. Couldn't do it. Really? Yeah. I, I thought it. it was good. I wasn't as crazy. Like, I was hearing reports, like, people were like, I, I can't go on with life because that place that they live in, what's it called? Like, Pandora yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. Is not a real place. Yeah. But uh, I, hear, I hear people yelling. Yeah, I, I hear something too. Really? It sounded yeah. like a, a, a lady was screaming. Is the purge starting? I didn't hear the siren. <laughs> I, didn't hear I had to take the headphones off for a second. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see. Next one in August, Slender Man. Have you guys heard anything about Slender Man? Yes. I have. Uh, yeah, I follow the news stories about you know the kids with the other classmates and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Robin's younger sister, she, you know, she's like a teenager in high school. But they're all like, there was a time where they were obsessed with the idea of Slender Man. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was really like, big. Bug, bugging. Huh. Because uh, I watched like a documentary about it. So basically it's like this online kind of like a myth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah it's some like kind some... of video game. Like you go out. There, there, there was a video game that you could play. But the kind of idea, I believe, is that there's this like really tall, skinny dude in the woods who sometimes you can't tell like like he's kind of it's, it's kind of hard to see him because everything looks like trees in the distance and then there's like just this tall dude in a suit with a skinny tie that'll fucking kill you or stab you or yeah. something yeah it's just weird thing so kids were luring their friends out into the woods and trying to kill their their own friends yeah which is wild i don't see why they're coming out with a movie for yeah them. i it looked dumb to me yeah uh disney's christopher robin which focuses on the Winnie the Pooh character as an really? adult. Yeah. Ewan McGregor plays the Christopher Robin. And I guess it's about his life and probably hmm. some sort of a Winnie the Pooh adventure. Okay. Is it like animated? Or? No. Well, partially. I think okay. Winnie the Pooh is. Okay. For sure. But like Ewan McGregor is, it's really him in the movie. Okay. I haven't seen much about it. Just I know that it's there. And um, I saw like a teaser for it. And it doesn't show too much, but I'm sure it's going to be interesting. I liked Beauty and the Beast and the Jungle Book a lot. A lot. Next one in August, The Meg. 
Have you seen the trailer for this? The new oh, Jason Statham movie? The Meg. With the big shark? Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I Yo, have. Yo, that Mega shit shark. looks crazy. I mean, I not I like have, a good yeah. movie, but it looks awesome anyway. The fucking shark is Kinda like, like the size Sharknado. of a... Kind of like Sharknado. That yeah, shit looks weak. But this shark is like the size of a fucking... You know, football field. Or yeah, something. it's the huge. Megalodon. Yeah, the Megalodon. Oh my god, Jason Statham's gonna kill it. Like <laughs> Jason Statham, like looks the same in every movie he's yeah. ever been. I don't in. think he ages. Does no, he? he doesn't. I don't know. I just expect he's gonna like drive an Audi into it or something. Yeah, for <laughs> like, <real>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like jump kick. That's it. what he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give it a like straight up like roundhouse kick to the <laughs> fucking fin. <laughs> <laughs> so September. August was kind of a weak month. Yeah, August had kind of like the weaker movies. Isn't there like a Jerry Brockheimer like Transformers 19 coming out or something? Not this summer. All right. September is kind of slow too, but I am excited for The Predator. Oh, yeah. yeah Dude, that Predator looks so movie. nasty. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited oh, yeah. for that. That's so cool. I like all the Predator movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Next is, well, actually, The Last Predator was real dope. That's the one with like Adrian Brody where they end yeah. up on like some... Alien Planet. Yep. Yeah. That shit was, that was fucking really cool. awesome. I man. liked it a lot. The next one in in September, Night School, the new Kevin Hart romantic comedy, <laughs> where I guess he meets a lovely lady at night school. Yeah. If, if Kevin Hart's in it, I'm probably going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. He's I mean, good. he's just hysterical. A new Johnny English movie. You guys ever see the first one? No. It's one with like Mr. Bean. You know okay. what I'm talking about? Yep, I don't yep, know yep. him. I don't know what his actual name is. But it's like that English guy who's like silent. But when all you the say time. Mr. Bean, you know exactly who you you're know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I never saw the first. Well, maybe I think I've seen parts of the first one, but I don't Rowan know. Atkinson is that his name? Yeah, yeah. Sure, he's a really funny guy. Just not really into it. He's like a big deal in England. He is. He's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, he's been around for a long yeah. time. Mr. Bean's like <laughs> it's been around for a long time. Uh, Smallfoot. That's just a kids movie, I guess. It's like the the child of Bigfoot or something. Okay. Huh. Some DreamWorks uh, animated thing. If it's anything like Moana and Frozen, I'm sure it's going to be dope. Yeah, it's probably going to be a big hit. Let's see. Moving on to October. This is a pretty slow month, but it's got some heavy hitters. That's when Venom comes out. Tom Hardy. Yeah. I want to be excited. I like Tom Hardy. I like the idea of Venom, but yeah. the trailer was just kind of like... Eh. Did you see the newest one where they show Venom? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, you saw it. That was cool, but I don't know. My thing with this movie is that I just, as an adult, I have grown to hate origin stories. Like, I feel like it's just because I know how Venom comes across. And I guess I know that other people don't, you know what I mean? But, like, I just, I know that it's going to be... Two hours of fucking Tom Hardy trying to figure out how to deal with this shit. Yeah, that's what it'll be. For the ne- for the last ten minutes, he turns into Venom and fucks some shit up, and then that's the end of the movie. Like those scenes. I want to the- see Venom, 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 yeah, Venom, yeah. Venom. Like I want Venom to fuck some shit up for the whole movie, and yeah. I guess we'll have to wait another two years for that. To me, when I watch that trailer and the scenes where like. He all of a sudden like super punches a guy through the wall yeah. and he looks at himself like, what did I just do? Like, yeah. that's so corny to me. I, I'm i willing to bet that, it's going to be pretty hard in the movie. I hope so. But that's when I see those scenes, I'm like, Ugh. I'm pretty sure this is rated R as well. All right. And rated R superhero movies are the shit. So far. So far, so good. Next in October, the new Halloween. Jamie Lee Curtis is coming back. All right. She's Michelle. coming back. Yeah, she's coming oh. back. I'm sure Ahmed is hype. Ahmed is hype. Shout out Ahmed. <laughs> yeah, um, I know a lot of people are really excited for this one. Yeah, uh, Rob Zombie's not doing this one. It's kind of just like going back to the original story and just kind of, I guess, a continuation of that. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis has got some, you know, all gray hair. She looks, she looks, still looks great. Yeah. Um, but it looks, it looks good. Speaking of Rob Zombie, I'm so excited for his new movie coming out. It's not coming out this year. Three from Hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so yeah. excited for that. The next one I got in October, the last one I got in October, is the new Goosebumps movie. I never saw the first one. I guess it's a big hit with kids. I, never saw it. I used to read those books. Yeah, me too. I still have Back all Back in the 90s, yeah? Every no single shit. Really? one from the number one to the end. Let me borrow one. All right. I was into Goosebumps and the Animorphs. I tried I to remember get kids Animorphs. into it, but yeah. they just... It wouldn't do it. It probably took me like a month to read it. It'd probably take me 15 minutes now. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember them like when you were a kid, you thought there you know, there were so many pages and it yeah. was so hard to read the whole book. And then I looked at it the other day because I have them all stashed in my mom's house. 
and they're I was like, this is nothing now. The letters are all big, and there's all this space between the yeah, words. Yeah, right. <laughs> like nine sentences a page. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Moving on to November. It starts picking up a little bit in November. Right. We got the new Robin Hood movie. Who's playing? Is that Robin Hood is the uh, Taron <laughs> Edgerton. Oh, kid I like from, that dude. Uh, yeah, the kid from um, The Kingsman. Yeah, 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 yeah. That dude's talented. He can yeah, sing. He's good. He he can act. Yeah. Dude's good. He's good. And then Jamie Foxx is Little John. That's cool. That's good. Really? That should be good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Uh, the new Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindwald. I didn't see the first one. Did you? I did. It was decent. Yeah. yeah. I like Harry Potter. Yeah. I like that universe. It's good. And this one has a young Dumbledore. Oh. Played by Jude Law. Johnny okay. Depp's in this one. Uh, a couple other people. He was in the first one, wasn't he? Who? Johnny Depp. At the end. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah. kind of cameoed or yeah, something? Yeah. Like he, it's kind of like leading into this one. All right. He's the bad guy. Okay. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Next one, we're getting into our holiday hits. Dr. Seuss the Grinch, a new computer CGI one. Okay. Really? Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. I didn't want I didn't He's like voicing the him? New Grinch. Yeah. Okay. For those of you who didn't get that, it was uh Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> bark, bark. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Bless you. No, so Doctor Strange, the, the Jim Carrey one. I introduced my kids to the Grinch this past Christmas. Okay, my kids loved the original animated. Yeah, so I'm like, maybe they'll love it, and they just could not get into it. They're real bugged out about Jim Carrey. I couldn't get into it either. Yeah, when, when they I tried, didn't like it as much. When they I tried to neat. redo stuff like that, like yeah, you know, they had Char- uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, and then Johnny Depp did Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. No, yeah. it was Willy Wonka and then Charlie in the Chocolate. Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like the, the the Jim Carrey Grinch was just like too drawn out. Like yeah. the Grinch is great as a thirty minute cartoon yeah. holiday favorite. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, it's just kind of dumb. This one will probably be good because it's going to be animated. They could do more. Yeah, I'm excited know, for this. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. He never disappoints. Uh, let's see, Disney's live action The Nutcracker. Huh. I don't know who's like the main main people, but I saw Morgan Freeman's in it. Uh, a couple other people. Live action, you say? Yeah. And this is a movie. This isn't like a uh, a show. No, yeah, it's a it's a movie. I'm sure it's going to be musical. Uh, it'll definitely be musical. Yeah. The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Does yeah. That sound right? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Mackenzie Foy. I don't know who that is. Me neither. Morgan Freeman, Kira Knightley, yeah, Helen yeah, yeah. Mirren. Yeah. All right. Should be all right. I'm sure people will see that. I'm, I'm willing to bet it comes out like right around Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. December. Just two more movies here okay. that I got. Uh, Aquaman with the uh, Cal Drago. Yeah. Um. That guy. Yeah. Jason. What? Molinas. Yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. I like that dude. He He's seems hot. good. He's hot. H a w t hot 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 <laughs> what. Uh, let's see. Next is Emily Blunt in Mary Poppins Returns. Huh. I feel like she's way too depressing to be that, right? Yeah, we'll see. Probably went on Oscar for it. I Probably. still think Jim like can do better than Emily Blunt. Who? Jim. Jim. John. John. Um, uh, oh. Jim from The Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to say, you've influenced me a bit, Danny. I've um, had like a. I, I, on my TV, I've saved The Office as like a. A favorite and i keep using that as my go-to when like i'm not sure what to watch i'm like you know what man danny keeps just throwing the office on yep. so i started doing it dude and i'm so happy isn't it so much yeah fun? We're, yeah i love it it's awesome i still watch it and it's it's awesome because like on the weekends on comedy central the office is on like 24 yeah. 7 on comedy central so even my kids they'll throw it on i started season one episode one and my okay. wife and i are like somewhere in season three right now yeah it's so, oh, so, so good. good so good well, that conf- that uh, concludes our mega movie rundown. That was fun. It. That was good. I that was cool. It. It was now you uh, now you know when some good movies are coming out. Yeah. All that good stuff. We're up against it. We're gonna take a break. Come back. We're gonna make a big announcement. All right. All right. Here we go. We're right back.
Welcome back to Might Be News. Season 3, episode 18. Now you know when some cool movies are coming out. It's good stuff. Digging right. like the social media rundown and now the movie madness. <laughs> it was good. It's awesome. Movie madness. So right now we have a special guest with us. She's on the Might Be News line. The, the hotline? Might Be News line. Say what up, Jackie. What's up, everyone? We have a phone line. <laughs> oh, snap. Jackie, I, I hear you, but I can't see you. Where are you? Long time listener, first time call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, well done. That's incredible. That well done. <laughs> yes. So Jackie is on the phone line with us right now to help us make a big announcement. Okay. So... As I was saying, we got Might Be News, we got Might Be Sports, and people are generally a big fan of our Ladies' Night episodes. Big time. Big time. Jackie's a natural. Jackie is a natural. <laughs> she, she's very good. Wait, she Stop can hear me. Stop sucking up to me, <laughs> <laughs> So that's why we all thought it would be a great idea to get all the wives to do a show. Oh, that's so cool. And by the time, well, by the time we start doing the show, I'm not going to tell you when. But Jackie will basically be my wife. She's already my, basically my wife. Yeah. So it works. Uh, but the show is going to be called, Jackie, you want to say it? Go ahead. You, you announce the show. The show will be called Relatable Radio. Yes. Relatable Radio. That has a nice ring to it. The say it like idea. five times in a row later and just like feel yeah. it, you know? No, it's got a really good ring to it. Well, the the idea is we we you know we want to talk about everyday things that other people might be experiencing in their lives and maybe provide some insight or hey you're not alone everybody goes through shitty times so <laughs> yeah and just talk about whatever and and it'll basically be a uh, you know show run by the girls I'll be producing it nice yeah I won't be on the show unless they want me to be on the show periodically but it's just a chance for them to. To say what they want to say. That's want interesting. To express ourselves, have some free creativity, and um, I don't know, bring some more woman insight to the world. Well, I'll tell you that a lot of times, like if I'm struggling with stuff, I lean on my wife a lot. I feel a lot of times she's like the smartest person I know, and I'll go to her for advice. And then I usually tell her I'm wrong and do what I want to anyway. <laughs> but yeah. that, that's, that's, that's going to be neat. And uh, I'm really excited for for all the girls. Um, it's going to be great. Allison's going to be here. Amy's going to be here. Jackie, it's going to be a great time. Dude, the ladies' nights are so much fun. That's going to be awesome. Is that every They're, week? It's going to be every week. Wow. And, and especially because Taylor's not going to be the one asking all the hard-hitting questions about periods and <laughs> all, all these other really embarrassing things that, yes, we go through. But you know, we don't now, really talk now, about those all the time. Now that we have a lady show, we have to, one of the parameters, and I haven't told Jackie, I was waiting to do it on, on the air, but oh, one of you guys, at least one of you guys has to try one of these weed tampons and get back to us. <laughs> Can that be my punishment? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm willing no. to do this as my punishment. It won't be me. <laughs> I'm going to have to call in every week. Or Amy. <laughs> And now we have now now we're just showing everybody that we have call in uh, uh, capabilities as well. We mentioned that last week, but this you is mentioned it, but you haven't done it yet. So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll, I'll be calling my wife during the show. You got to get home. These kids are driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool. I mean, I'm really excited for this might be news network idea. Yeah. I'm really excited for might be sports, and I'm really excited for relatable radio. I think that it's gonna be a big hit. I think people are really gonna enjoy it. And like I was saying at the beginning of the show, people wanted more from us, so we're giving them things that they that's different than what we're doing here, but something that's just as good. Something little that's different just as good. flavors. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Even people that aren't necessarily into sports might find Kevin Reevy and myself and whoever else we get on the show with us interesting and want to listen to it. Even if you're not into, you know, not not necessarily that every episode is going to be girl talk on might be or I'm sorry, relatable radio. Uh, you might you're going to get into these girls. They're all funny. They're they're all super smart, and it's going to be awesome. How dare you yeah. talk about my wife like that? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, that's the How goal. How dare Just you get into spirit. girls <laughs> as often as possible? <laughs> well, Jackie, I know you got to get going. I really appreciate you being on with us. And well, um, thanks for having me, guys. I'm I'm really excited for relatable radio. 
We're the lady. I can tell you this. The ladies are super pumped. Great. Well, we can't wait to hear more from you. I will. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, yes, I will see you later as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting awkward really quick. I know. We don't know how to say bye on the Fuck phone. it. I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you kissy face emojis because I'm hanging up on you right now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and here give me a second i need to send kissy face emoji. that's so funny you were getting kissy so good at emoji. radio but yeah, we don't know how to handle call-ins yeah break down that's still uh, <laughs> it still feels like a regular phone call like you have to say goodbye i love you yeah 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 <laughs> so like i have no idea how it's gonna be like when uh when it's just a complete stranger like i wonder that when i listen to the radio i'm just like damn that dude just like straight up hung up on that they, dude. they don't even say goodbye they're no just they're like, just like in yeah, the middle of the point done. like they're just like I'm gonna hang yeah. up on you because I'm gonna yell at you. Yeah. You have to listen to it, not <laughs> say anything. Yeah. On to the next call. Probably just gonna run over a child, yeah. just like mad on his way home. Like fuck, Mike missed an alley. Just fuck. <laughs> ah, fucking you know, and that's why I don't call those radio shows because I don't want my feelings hurt. No, he yeah, just right. hung up on me. We're gonna have to get used to it. It's, we have uh, the technology now. Yeah, we have the technology, and I think uh, eventually down the line it would be hilarious to like have a call in episode, just like put out there on the Twitter and Facebook, yeah. like call us on this time at this date, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We'll just make fun of you. <laughs> just like talk shit to listeners yeah i think it'd be fun if they just you know come call in and like i fucking hate your show be like yeah well why don't you go fuck yourself you know just because <laughs> people are gonna be assholes like I, I hate anybody that follows me on twitter or facebook is gonna call me and call me a piece of yeah. shit you know what i mean they're not gonna be like oh, oh i love so your funny. show this shit is so great long time listener first time on. they're not gonna do that they're gonna be like you're a piece of shit you know blah 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 i'm gonna be like we oh should, we should really do that they're gonna be hilarious and there. very entertaining we should put it out there they look we're recording the next episode friday night nine o'clock yeah here's the phone number yeah call us after nine yep get through talk to us about what you want to talk to us about Ask we, questions. We might have some productive things, you know, listeners yeah. that want to this, be productive uh, with us. This might be big. It might this be big. might be huge. Might be. Stay tuned. Big. That's all I got to say. I mean, you know, stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. We got yeah. a lot of things. Uh, we're just going to skip intros All right. at this point. What's the point? I'm going to go first. And I'm going to abbreviate my point. All right. So I just saw this week that uh, Oliver North is going to be named the new president of the NRA, National Rifle Association. And I just wanted to say that I think that that's just crazy. And I just I feel like Oliver North should be in jail for the rest of his life. Um, for those of you who don't know who Oliver North is, I strongly recommend that you google gary webb and the contra wars that's gary webb w-e-b-b and the contra wars gary webb wrote a story uh called the dark alliance he was a reporter for the san jose times i believe he broke the story that the united states was buying or i'm sorry selling weapons to Iran during the Reagan administration, selling weapons in Iran, taking that money and funding a war down in the Contra uh, with the rebels in the Contra uh, down in Nicaragua. Yeah. And for in return for all that, they uh, America got a bunch of cocaine and allegedly put it out in the streets in the form of crack cocaine. The it's just this crazy thing because Oliver North had everything to do with it. He was like national security advisor, like he was fully into this stuff, working with the CIA and doing all this shit. This is all according to Gary Webb. He was later discredited for all this shit, and uh, Oliver North was convicted of a lot of a bunch of felonies, uh, but later acquitted on appeal. Since then, he has been a Fox News contributor, author, whatever. Now he's going to be the president of the NRA. And it rubbed me the wrong way because it's funny. Literally, as I was reading the story, the movie was on HBO. It's on HBO now. The, uh, Kill the Messenger. Right. Uh, it's about Gary Webb. It's a very good movie. I recommend anybody watch it that wants to know more about this subject because it, th this Childish Gambino came out. This is America. Yeah, yeah. It's it's blowing up the internet right mm -hmm. now. It's a crazy thing. Crazy video. Go watch it. It's really good. Powerful video. Very powerful video. Very political. Very just subliminal messages very interesting 
Um, and th- what I'm talking about right now, that is America. Right. The Reagan administration did this, and then shortly after that, they made the drug on uh, the war on drugs, which put people away for a long, 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 long time for crack possession mm-hmm. that they fucking gave them. Crazy. Um, if you think that you're woke <laughs> from watching a Childish Gambino video, Google Freeway Ricky Ross. If you think Rick Ross is just a fat rapper, Google something. Find out where he got his name from. Find out where he took his name from. Watch Kill the Messenger. Google Gary Webb and the Contra Wars. That's my point. All right. Okay. Google that shit. Just do it. All right. It's very interesting shit. Very, very interesting shit. All right. Very By cool. the way, rest in peace, Gary Webb. Rest in peace, Gary rest Webb. Peace. They found him shot in his head twice, and they ruled it a su- suicide. Of course they did. Because this is what happened with when he when he brought this story out. I mean, he won awards. It was this crazy thing. Like he was in South America. Like he met Freeway Ricky Ross. Like he got his side of the story. He got the drug dealer side of the story in the in Nicaragua. Like he was down there and released a story all about how the CIA did this, and it was just a crazy thing. And all of a sudden, the CIA investigated itself, and of course, <laughs> found itself. Not, not guilty, guilty of any of this shit. Right. And then the Washington Post, who was then run by ex CIA people and people that were in the government mm-hmm. previous to them running that paper, <clears throat> killed the story and blackballed him. Shit's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Google Gary Webb. John, what people do you got? need to know? I got a couple stories. Okay. All right. The, the first one is crazy. Have you guys heard about the electronics recycling guy that's going to jail? You guys no, heard about the story? No. All right. So there's this guy in Southern California who's built a business recycling electronic waste. Okay. So he's taking all of these used parts from old computers and cell phones and he's recycling them and making new electronics and he's selling them back to companies like Sprint and things like that. But he just got sentenced to go to jail because of a lawsuit from Microsoft. So what happened is he was making. Microsoft recovery disks for Windows. Yeah. Like you've got an old Windows computer and you want to reinstall Windows 7, you know, something that's like outdated. Yeah. Like he was he was making those disks so that you could recover it and put that operating system back on it. Windows said that was hurting their business and that they lost $700,000 in business because of him making 5 cent copies which which is crazy because they give you the recovery disk for free with your computer. Yes, they but do. most people lose them or forget that they exist. And when your computer stops working, you have nothing. You, you have no options and you have to go buy a new one. Wow. All this guy did is say, hey, I want to help recycle all of these computers out there. So he made these disks for like five cents. And he was going to resell them for something like 25 cents. Oh, wow. And he had a bunch of them made, but he was only going to resell them to people so that they could, you know, rebuild computers and things like that. But Microsoft had the nerve to tell him that he was stealing business from them by doing that. And they ended up valuing these discs for $25 a piece. And, um, so now they're going to put they're going to send him to jail for 15 months and give him a $50,000 fine. Come on. So wow. I thought that's crazy, man. I had a lot of fun getting broken computers from people and turning them into like arcade machines and things. Like I would completely wipe the hard drive, put a new op- yeah. Windows operating system on it. And and it sucks, man. Like something like that, like this is not hurting anybody and the guy's going to jail over it and I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. Victimless crime. Victimless crime. It's crazy. So um, the other point that I had that I wanted to talk about was I heard the statistic this week that your car is parked 95% of its life. Have you ever thought about that? Like you buy your car, but it sits parked somewhere 95% of the time. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, I drive my car to work, it sits there for eight hours. I drive it home, it sits in my house. 
for like the rest of the other 16 hours or something until you yeah. go to work again. It's crazy, right? Like yeah. it sits 95% of the time. So so here's what's crazy. Obviously, Tesla and all these self-driving cars are becoming more and more popular. Yeah. Imagine this idea. Imagine sharing cars with people based on a schedule. You Your car is sitting there waiting for you when you're ready to go to work. You hop in your car. It drives you to work. And when you get out to go in for the eight-hour shift, your car leaves with nobody in it and goes to pick up the next person and take them to work. Is this a John idea or is this a real life idea? No, I think this is a real life idea. I've read something like this oh, okay, 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 and okay. was like, this makes complete sense. Like, it like, does. It does. You, you pay forty, fifty thousand dollars for like a nice car and you don't use it 95% of the time. Like, why not? Like, the technology is going to be there so effing soon where like, yeah, you know, you're already say, scheduling things like Uber and, um, you know, whatever, Airbnbs, all this stuff that's all based on schedules and real time data because everybody's got a, a full time data connection. But like how mind blowing is that, that like your car could really leave with nobody in it and yeah. go pick somebody else up and then you will get it, your car or at least some car can come pick you up and take you to work. And, and it's probably going to reduce not only the amount of cars that are on the road, but um, you know, like how much you pay for a car because you're only going to use it five percent of the time that it's actually here on earth it's true not nuts but then like who's gonna pay for the gas the maintenance it's probably gonna be electric just like reports back to base yeah i mean like somebody's gonna charge it (laughs) at some point but i mean i I don't know i I don't know you wouldn't own the car it would be it would be it would have to be a a service like uber and taxis though yeah it would have to be a service like it would have to be something where like you sign up for like a hundred dollars a month or some shit and then some fucking car takes you wherever you want to go and drops you off and leaves and then whatever but maybe that's better than you know 300 hour a month car payment absolutely and oh, definitely. a month for insurance definitely i agree yeah, 100%. i agree yeah. it'd be a different kind of it would be a new age public transportation like uber and yeah, whatever but, but it would I, just, I just be like automated that idea like i heard that idea earlier this week and i was like holy shit man like that's that's probably the future yeah that's so crazy pretty wild let me give a couple shout outs real quick yeah um if you guys haven't realized already i'm a bit of a beer nerd um, I'm here drinking funk citrus tonight, um, having a good time on the podcast. But um, once a, about once a month, I do a bottle share at Frank's in Downingtown. And um, all that really is, is like me and all my beer nerd buddies, we meet up, everybody brings some like cool craft beer and we sit around and drink it and talk about it. And it's a lot of fun. But um, the last time we had a bottle share earlier this week, a buddy of mine walked in and he goes, man, I was just listening to your brother on the way in. And I was <laughs> like, no shit. That's awesome. So um, anyway, Steve, I know you're listening. Um, I know we all appreciate it. So I just want to give you a shout out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. That's and great. Um, one more shout out. It's my favorite fucking thing in the world. I feel like I win the lottery every time this happens. I went to Royal Farms on the way here, oh, yeah? and I got chicken strips. The chicken strips are so fucking good. I ordered four of them. When I opened that shit up in the car on the way here, there, there was, was like seven yeah. strips packed in that box. That is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> There's nothing I love more, and I ate all seven of them before I walked in the door wow. here. But, man, that, that's like hitting the lottery. That's such a good feeling. Yeah, I know exactly what you're oh, talking about. Man. So shout out to that dude behind the counter working second shift. <laughs> Who doesn't give a farms. fuck right Who now. Who doesn't give yeah. a fuck. And for some reason, he thought I was cool enough to get those extra strips. He's the fucking man. So he gets my second shout out tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you got, Danny? All right. So it's funny. We were talking about transportation and everything. Yeah. Uh, mine involves transportation as well. NASA and Uber are teaming up to get flying taxis off the ground. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I just saw the headline. I didn't so, read it. So I'm NASA and Uber about have it. signed an agreement uh, to explore putting taxis over the U.S. cities. Uh, NASA said Tuesday it will begin simulations for its so-called urban air mobility uh, vehicles that also include delivery drones. The announcement comes as... Um, uh, Uber Elevate Summit in Los Angeles brings together tech and transportation leaders to discuss the future of urban aviation. So <clears throat> I saw a few videos on this, and it's literally, it almost looks like a huge drone. Like it's got the propellers up in the sky, right? 
but it parks on top of buildings. So like a helicopter. Basically. And basically like a passenger size drone. Yeah. Okay. That's what it looks like. Huh. And it takes you building to building wherever you need to go. Well, that's cool because you're avoiding traffic for now until it gets popular enough that there's mad drones. So you have to avoid air traffic. So it looks like the fifth element scene. Where I was just going to say, are you going to need a multi-pass <laughs> to, to get on this? Yeah. Where it's going. Uh, fifth element, like Blade oh, Runner type. Dude, I want yeah. a multi-pass yeah. so bad, Danny. I mean, I just, I, I remember <laughs> being, you know, in high school and we always joked around, uh, you know, when we have kids, they're not going to buy cars because, you know, they're going to be flying cars. We're so close to that. So it's close. ridiculous. We are. We're getting there. We're getting there. And, you know, for Uber to be actually teaming up with NASA now to get this off the ground, we got a great partner. Yeah. So pretty soon you're going to see uh, drones with humans flying in the sky. And you're just like dropping in, like supposed to meet somebody somewhere for like dinner or something. You just fucking drop in on a fucking Uber drone. Like, you can't use the excuse you were stuck in traffic anymore. Yeah, fuck That's it. so crazy, dude. We got flying drones carrying people. We got Elon Musk digging holes in the ground, shooting tubes with you and your car in it. Yep, and trying we to get got, us to Mars. Trying to get us to Mars. We got fucking cars driving themselves on the road. We're in a crazy time. The future is now, people. It is, and it's it's happening so fast. Yep. And I'm excited. All right, listen, would you, how do you feel right now about getting in? Like, if somebody were to tell you, like, I'm going to give you a ride for an hour somewhere, like down to Philly in an automated driving car, would you do it? No. Why? Tomorrow? No. Tomorrow. Why? They're not there yet with, with that shit. Well, he's got plans tomorrow. I don't though. trust that shit. <laughs> I don't trust that shit yet. You don't trust it yet? No. Not yet. I, I mean, there's already been a few fatalities as soon as, like, I think recently there was two kids that were just killed in the yeah. Tesla. Um, so I don't know what the we're statistics yet. are yet. We're, we're just not there but yet. But I feel like the automated systems now are probably safer than, like, human reaction times. <laughs> like, there's a lot of videos of, like, Tesla's saving accidents from happening as well. So here's my thing with it real quick, and then we have to move on to the late review. But with with this, it's... Just simply the technology isn't there yet. The The safety stuff involved mm -hmm. in that right. is great unless the car software isn't updated or it's not running properly. You put too much trust in that yet, and it might fuck you up. Like, it fucked a couple of them other yeah. people up. Like, look at your phone. If you, after the next phone comes out, yeah. What happens if the next car comes out and all of a sudden your car starts working like shit because it's not all of a sudden compatible with the software <laughs> that's that they're, fucked up. That I hope doing. they wouldn't do no, that. My my iPhone eight or whatever this is. No, yeah. this is a seven. Yeah, seven plus. It's gonna start working like shit in the next couple months. They already have the ten out. Whenever they come out with the, whenever they announce the next one or start coming out with that shit, this phone's gonna be garbage. It, 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 it's the way that it all is because it's not compatible with the advancements that they make in technology. That's true. So that whatever is... they're doing with these cars right now, give it like another five, ten years. And I think that I definitely would get in that car. Danny, what about you? Would you get in a car right now? If it was going anywhere but Philly, yes. Yeah. High traffic area if on a highway me. mode? No. If I was going maybe to like King of Prussia or your house, sure. I feel better about going to Philly, like with all those cars around. I think the anomalies are like when that lady walks out in the traffic and pitch black dark, like unexpectedly, or, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere and a tractor trailer pulls out and the car can't tell what's the skyline and what's the tractor trailer and it smashes into it. But like, I don't know, man, I, I, I kind of feel like I would embrace it right now. And, and give it a shot. Yeah. I would feel okay with it. Like I said, I, I would feel okay with it, but I wouldn't want to go into Philly. I've heard people say recently that they've ridden in those cars and then they get back into a car they have to drive and they're like, oh, fuck, I got to do this myself now? Yeah, it's like it, everybody's lazy You get lazy used to now, it though. quick. Like, yeah. And that's the thing. It's, it's, it's laziness. I imagine productivity, like being able to like check yeah. emails and do yeah. all this shit. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Like I, I travel a or lot. Or eat chicken tenders. Or eat chicken tenders. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting bonus chicken tenders. I need time and focus time on eating it. them. Yeah. yeah. Safer to not be eating chicken uh, yeah. and driving. But I, I can dig know. it, but no, not yet. That's a not yet for me. <laughs> 
Um, all right, late review time. Lightning round. Lightning round. Zoo, zoo, zoo. I listened to the newest album by a guy named Prof, P-R-O-F. He's on the same record label as Atmosphere, a guy that Kev reviewed right. recently. He's from Minneapolis. Uh, his new album is called Pookie Baby. Pookie Baby? Pookie Baby. He's very, very good. White rapper. Yeah, he's white rapper. Uh, he <sighs> is. He also sings a lot. <clears throat> good singer. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. He's he's kind of a little dicky ish, little dicky ish, like like funny. Okay, like he raps about how silly other rappers are and how silly he is. Like he definitely says some gangster shit, but it's okay. like in a funny way. Yep. Um, I I, it wasn't my cup of tea. It it. Still kind of isn't, but it's like still really good. Okay. And I listened to it a couple of times, like over the past couple of weeks. And I just find myself going back to like a few of like the really, really good songs. Like I don't like every song on the album by any means, but there's a few really, really good ones. Nice. And all the videos that he's got for this album are really good too. Okay. I suggest. I'll check them out. Yeah. Checking them out. Prof. Andre the Giant was really good. Uh, Time Bomb is my favorite song on the album, and the video for that has like a Trailer Park Boys vibe to it. Like he like recreates some of the stuff from that. It's pretty good. There's a song called Send Nudes. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, Be Around is a nice song. Let's see, Action No is really good. Criminal Homicide. It's good. It's a good album. Also, real quick, uh, I give. Oh, by the way, I give that album a seven. That's a high score. I'm surprised. Give it. That's high for you. I, there's there's one there's songs on it that I like and I like them a lot. Okay. Also, go listen to the Nas live album. They put it on iTunes. It's out out there on all the the major platforms. The PBS John. The PBS one. You had that playing when I got here tonight. <laughs> that shit sounds like fire. It's magnificent. That's awesome. So that's it. Very I, cool. I give that shit an eleven out of ten. Yeah, the the strings are nasty. Yeah, it's great. Danny, what do you got? All right, so I um I feel like I've been doing a lot of hip hop lately, so I went a different route this week. I reviewed Mumford and Sons. Oh, I love me some I Mumford and Sons. I love Mumford and Sons. I reviewed their album Babel. Yeah. Um, Mumford and Sons, one of those bands. It's on my uh my bucket list. Um, want to go and see one of their concerts? Mm-hmm. You know, some point in my lifetime. Um, Coldplay was on there. I checked that off. Two years ago, I think it was, but this saw or this album Babel. Uh, this came out in 2012. This is probably my favorite album that they've put out. Now their new music is almost it, Mumford and Sons. Weird, like their music is changing. Have you noticed that? Like, oh yeah, the new songs they come out with, they're they're saying specifically they're going for a different route of music. Do you know what it is? So the lead singer is a drummer. He he's that's like his main instrument, yeah. right? And he always says like, "I'm not a songwriter, I'm a drummer," right? Which I think is kind of cool. But the the songs that got them popular, there's no drummer on it. If you've ever seen him play live, he's got a bass drum on his right foot. He's got a um like a shaker or a kind of like you know something that that would um like mimic a hi hat yeah, on his yeah. left foot, and he's playing guitar and singing. So he's doing like the simple drum beat with his legs, no strumming shit. guitar and singing. That's the first thing I saw by Mumford and Sons, and I was like, they're fucking legit. Yeah. And um, but yeah, they I think the newer albums they actually have a full drum set on it, and they've kind of evolved a little bit. But but that simplicity and that sound, but also like there's that that complex like musicmanship. I don't know if I just made a word up. <laughs> but you know that that that's that's what I always appreciated out of it. Yeah. <clears throat> what songs uh, were on that album? Babel, I will wait. Uh, Lover of the light, lover's eyes, um, broken crown, uh, the boxer. Those are a few of my favorites. So this wasn't the breakout album. This was the the one after it. Correct. Yeah. And this is my favorite album that they've come out with. Really? Uh, I'm giving this album a solid nine point eight. Wow. wow. Solid point. This is one of I, those albums that when uh, I, I used to, before I moved, I had like three acres of grass to cut. And it used to take me a good two hours to cut it. I'd put this album on, song one, track one, and I would listen to the whole album while cutting grass. Wow. And enjoyed yeah. every song. 
That's awesome. Cool. Great album. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you haven't heard any of these songs, look them up, Muffin and Sons. Uh, the album is Babel. 9.8. Very nice. good. John, what do you got? You're not going to like this, but I have two things to talk about. <laughs> I know one, we're up against time. So I'll be fast. I'll be fast. Listen, um, so so Kevin already reviewed this, but I came across a little Dicky video this week, and I got stuck in a little Dicky YouTube hole. So if yeah. anybody hasn't seen these little Dicky videos, yeah. YouTube it and look it up. I started with Save That Money. Have you seen that video? Yes. Where he, he tries to do the whole video for no money where he walks into some old lady's house and it's this big mansion and they let him film there. And, they, and it just goes on from there. They they they, they take um, they go and film the same time T-Pain's filming a music video and they film there as well. They uh, they get like a free Ferrari and shit, I, I, whatever. That's awesome. It, it's so hilarious. But the song's actually good. Uh, Freaky Friday with Chris Brown, professional rapper. If if you so Taylor kind of mentioned it earlier, um, Lil Dicky's like kind of a comedian rapper, but the guy's really really good. He's talented. Yeah, he's really, really talented. talented. He's good. If you want to know what his deal is, look up Lil Dicky, professional rapper featuring Snoop Dogg, because that song and video will tell you exactly what he's about. Um, and then he's got a song featuring Brandon Urie. You know who that is? The lead singer from um, Panic at the Disco. Okay. I love that, dude. I love that band. I love Brandon Yuri. But that song's a little more serious. It's kind of like a love rap song. That song's legit and a great video. Watch that. But it, just, dude, watch a bunch of little dicky YouTube videos, and I promise uh, you will not be let down. So even though I didn't like review an album, I got hooked on him. I'd give him like a good eight. Just, just like the stuff that I saw, there's not yeah. As an artist, I don't have like an exact album. Plus, he's a local guy, and he's a local guy. He was he, he was on TV at the Sixers games when they when they yeah. lost or whatever. Uh, the other thing, real quick, is um, this is America came out. Yeah, it was a big deal. Very powerful video. Really liked the video. Um, very cool. But then I was like, yo, that's the dude from The Martian, right? And I've seen him on TV and in movies before. He's uh, the Richard. Uh, the rich Purnell maneuver. Yeah. Um, you know, in the Martian. So anyway, I'm like, this dude's kind of talented. I went back and looked at some of his old stuff. The song red bone, um, sober. I looked up online that video. Um, what's that other one where he's in the woods, um, campfire or something like that. Yeah. 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 Dude, that guy is talented. He's a good actor. Yeah. I think he has a stand-up special out. He has he, a couple, yeah. He he he's a writer on dude. Thirty Rock. Yeah, and um, the what is it? The uh, the fucking shit. The one it's a sitcom he was on some Atlanta. He is on Atlanta, and he uh, writes Parks and Rex. Park was on Parks and Rex. Park Park no, wasn't? it was the it was the other one. Some college thing. Community, community. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was just blown away by how talented the guy is. Like, the dude can dance, the guy can sing, he can rap, he can act, he's funny. Um, he, he's funny, he's in the movies, his, his stand-up's good. I mean, I was just really impressed by how talented this guy is. So Donald Glover, Childish Gambino, um, just caught my attention this week, and I'm just blown away all around. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Sorry I took up so much time. No, nah, dude, you're good. <laughs> it's cool it that you, it. you go out and, uh, you know, late review you go out and talk about some things that people might not know I, I know a lot of people saw this new video this is america and they have no idea who he is no idea about any of that stuff so that's cool very very cool i'm one of those guys check him out he's good yeah, i will uh very good guys very good kev peace out you know <laughs> you know you're, you're listening at home you're on the you're on the bench sucking ass Craig, say what's up. Yeah, say what's up, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny. That shit was funny. <laughs> Yo, go back and listen to our episodes, man. Get on iTunes, SoundCloud, check us out. Um, we we put all the episodes out there for you. You can go back and start from the beginning of season two. Like I said, come all the way up. We got might be news. We got might be sports coming. We got uh, relatable radio coming. Special shout out to Jackie, Allison, Amy. Yeah, ladies. Excited for it. It's going to be great. Uh, John, thank you for being here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I want to say, so like my buddy Steve coming out and saying that that he listens to the show. I mean, you're getting a lot of plays, but I would love to know who some of these people are. So like, you know, we're going to all start sharing this show on Monday for people to listen to. If you're listening, comment, share it, like it. 
let us know that you're listening because I want to know who you are and give you guys a shout out. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know who's listening to the show. I want to know what people think about it. I, I, th- I want to know who's going to call us when we do our uh, listener call in. I'm calling in. We're going to do that probably season three. Got to yeah. give people, got to give things, uh, got to give people something to grab onto. Look forward to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we got another big announcement next week. Uh, we only got a couple more episodes till the finale. Wow. It's coming. So thank you all for listening. Follow us on Twitter at Might Be News 24 7. That's Might Be News 247. If you like the way our social media looks, holler at Copper Leo or Copper Leo Art. Uh, that's my boy Leo. Copper Lion. Copper Art. Lion. Sorry. Leo at Copper Lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Dude makes sick logos. I'm out here drinking some of John's beer. What is this? The citrus thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Funk Citrus, Funk. man. Holy Good shit. IPA. Poppy. It's poppy. poppy. <laughs> we got four episodes left after this one. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So uh, let's see. Probably two to three more big announcements. Two to three more. All right. All right. We had a couple big ones last week. This week might be News Network coming at you. It's going to be big. It's blowing up. Blowing I'm gonna, up. I'm going to tell you right now. I had a very, very successful phone call tonight. Some of these, some one, you know, a couple of these big announcements are pretty fucking big. I'm, Dude, I'm they're hyped. they're big, and I'm so excited. Like one of these other shows that we're doing, big. Like I don't think you understand when we say big, we mean big. Huge. This is gonna be huge. It's gonna be very very cool. So stay tuned. We're gonna tell you all about it. Maybe next week. Maybe not. Fuck yourself. Ah. <laughs> Be nice to the fans. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff. Check I us out on you. Facebook. Keep up with us. We're having a good time. Looking forward to uh, the finale with you guys and uh, you know, letting you know when we'll be back and all that stuff. We'll do a lot more. It's going to be very, 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 very awesome. Hey, yep. hey, real quick. I'm sorry. I just had this thought real quick. Um, Vernon May. Yeah, shout quick, out R.I.P. Yeah. Um, that dude did some tree work for me. You know him a lot better than I did. Yeah. Um, great dude. Really, really sorry to hear about the loss. So his family, his daughter, uh, Val, um, you know, yeah, we're, we're thinking about you and uh, R.I.P. Vernon May. Yeah, R.I.P. So thanks for listening, guys. Uh, John, thanks for being here. Absolutely, Danny, great job. Thank you. Talk to you guys next week. Peace out. Later. Later.